there are certain MPs in the ruling party who may defect to him, in which case he could very soon be running the government. And he's made it plain that he wants to have you answer for all of the things you did while you were in power. Well, he's welcome to do that if he becomes the Prime Minister of Malaysia, but if he wins over members of the ruling party to his side, it is um, the Prime Minister, the present leader, who should be blamed because he couldn't even get the loyalty of his own members. It wasn't the current Prime Minister who was in power when Anwar Ibrahim was savagely beaten during his oh, time in detention. But savagely beaten? I know he was uh, slept and he had a black eye, which was very useful for election purpose. But uh, oh, you think he hit himself, maybe? I don't know what happened, but the, poli the police, uh, the IGP admitted that he assaulted. Uh, I know, I know, but that was a mean, the IGP. How will you respond if, if uh, Anwar Ibrahim comes to power and he, as he said on this program and elsewhere, that he wants a full and thorough public inquiry into all of your, Dr. Mahadir's misdeeds, how will you respond to that? Well, he is welcome to do so, but I hope that he finds people who are neutral, who are impartial, probably foreigners, because I don't trust the people that they uh, put the, um, after people they don't like. Interesting you say you don't trust people who are currently or may be in charge of any inquiry. Do you trust the integrity of the Malaysian judiciary? I do. At times I do, but uh, well, I find... Is that because you appointed the judges? I didn't appoint the judges. The judges were recommended by the, uh, the Chief Justice and uh, my duty is to check whether he has any uh, records or not, and after that, he is presented to the king, who uh, will then appoint the <laughs> judge. Dr. Mahadir, uh, you know as well as I do that the hottest political topic in Malaysia today is the state of the judiciary, the integrity of the judiciary, and the video has been playing in Malaysia for a long time now, which shows a top lawyer talking to a top judge going back to 2001, in which the lawyer says to the judge, believe me, in the end, all of the positions going all the way to the Supreme Court are fixed by the politicians, i.e. by you, who were the Prime Minister at the time, Dr. Mahathir. Did he say that? Did he mention my name? You he mentioned your name. He said, this will be fixed. This goes through the political system. Well, I, you ran the political system. I'm not so sure about that, but the fact is that this man w had his video taken because they were intended to to uh, blackmail him. He happens to be my lawyer defending me at this moment for uh, libel against Anwar. And this tape came from Anwar. Anwar had these things recorded in order to blackmail this lawyer. But the point is, the current government, led by Prime Minister Abdullah, who is nominally, or despite what you've said on this program, is of your party. Prime Minister Abdullah has now essentially apologized. He said, both to the Supreme Court justice that you removed and to other judges that were suspended or removed during your time in power, he said sorry to them. He said that he wants to offer them monetary compensation. Fine, but it's a political move. Something, uh, a man who is very unpopular at the moment, wanting to show that he has, is going to do something right. And that, Dr. Mahathir, is my point. The Malaysian people no, one, no longer want to live with the system you created. That's why Prime Minister Abdullah is essentially dismantling the system. No, that you no, created. he's not dismantling the system. He is making use of the system, the system in a worse way. He, there's no, nobody can say anything against him. He has newspapers which only reports about him and how great he is. And he was misled by the, the, his own uh, supporters into believing that if he holds the election now, I mean, this is one and a half years before the end of the term, uh, he would win. He would have a clean sweep. If you look at the records, he made uh, statements that he would win the election uh, with uh, zero for the opposition. The more I, I listen to you talking about Prime Minister Abdullah, the more I wonder, why did you choose him to be your successor? Well, these people are very smart in hiding their true character. 
she was known as Mr. Clean, and I thought I would uh, uh, appoint a clean person to succeed me, although she was not the one with the highest uh, votes uh, in, in my party. But I thought that he was uh, older, and I appointed him, thinking that he is not going to do anything very wrong. But this man gives priority to his family rather than to the, to the country. So it was a fundamental lack of judgment on your part? Yes, I'll admit that, but we all make mistakes, you know. The British people voted in people like Blair who told lies. So did the Americans. We all, the people make mistakes. We all make mistakes, you say. Was it also a mistake for you to define yourself so clearly as anti-Western and anti democratic in the sense that the West understands democracy. No, that's the problem. I'm not anti-Western. I'm against the bad things that were done by the Western countries. You're not anti-Western and yet in June 03, before you left office, you said Anglo-Saxon Europeans essentially are proponents, and I'm quoting here, proponents of war, sodomy and genocide. Which is true. You must admit. But you're not anti-Western. I'm stating the fact. This is their character, and I will continue to say so. So when you come here, here you sit in the Hard Talk studio in the heart of London, you regard yourself, do you, as in one of the headquarters of war, sodomy, and genocide? Well, I come here, of course, uh, expecting to be uh, um, lambasted by you, because uh, that is the way you work. Well, I'm not lambasting you at all. I'm trying to tease out whether you believe it was a mistake for you to use this sort of language because you clearly, no, no. you clearly cut yourself off from any sort of meaningful dialogue well, the, with the West when you use these words. The Europeans used to call us the lazy Malays, incompetent Malays, untrustworthy Malays. We couldn't say a thing about you. So when I had a, was in a position to say what we think about you, and I said it, and you don't like it. At when you said it to us, you expect us to like it. We didn't like it, but we had no way of making our, our voices heard. I'm just wondering how you feel about democracy. Of course, uh, since in the world since 9-11, the United States and the coalition of partners led by the United Kingdom have talked a lot about spreading democracy. Do you believe if in you look democracy? At, if you look at the history of the West, they come up with all kinds of ideologies they use it for some time and then they found it defective and they drop it and start on another. One day they are going to forget about democracy because in some countries, democracy actually ended up with anarchy and there were, there, there were practically no governments. It's not a system that can fit everybody. You must have a certain understanding of the limitations of democracy in order to make it work. Is that why you were well, not a Democrat, why you in the end did behave like a dictator? <laughs> well, that is something that the West would like to say about me, I'm a dictator. Well, I'm just quoting your own words from 2002. You no, said, did I good governance people need, you said, feudal kings, even dictators have provided and can provide well, That is government. very true. That is very true. So the why, great, why, why the great civilizations? Why not just say to me, yes? The great civilizations of the past did not have democracy, and yet they became great. It, it's not necessary that the system uh, will work for everybody. Uh, but if you have a bad leader, even the democratic system would fail. Must re, you must remember that if it's a democratic country which drop atom bombs, killing 200,000 people. How do you think the uh, Malaysian public will respond to you saying, look, you know what, democracy isn't the best system, and in fact, well, leadership went, can often work better? I went through five elections, and I won all the elections with a two-thirds majority. Without a free press, locking up many of your opponents. 